Welcome to the 8th lecture in the Streamlit series. In this video, we will be looking at the layout containers in Streamlit. So the first one is going to be our sidebar. So but before that, we need to import Streamlit. So Streamlit as st. And now we are going to start the command prompt. So go to data, go to Streamlit, go to Streamlit. And then finally, you have to write, oh sorry, go to video code. And then you have to write streamlet streamlet run and then you have you have to say the lecture file which, which is it so whatever is your Python file so we have a an open canvas okay so the first thing that we have to do over here is we have to use something a variable let's say a choice okay so I'm gonna say st dot sidebar and here what you can do is you have to have a radio button you can also choose others I'm going to choose the radio button because that is what was given in the documentation and that is what I mostly use and then you have to specify the label so I'm going to say choose uh, the option okay and what option we are going to have we are going to have two options which is audio or video I'm going to show you what it means so let's say I have uh, I have audio and then I have video fine now what I'm going to do is I'm gonna say uh, first let me go and show you what this is so basically you have to you can see over here there is an audio element which is already chosen and then you can also choose the video element by clicking over here or going you know you can toggle and you can also have other elements if you want you can have um, let's say an image you can have uh, uh, other files as well okay it doesn't matter I'm just showing two they can be many okay so what I want is let's say if choice double equal to audio so let's say our choice is audio so what this will do is now you can define many elements over here so let's say if we have audio I'm gonna say st dot audio and now I'm going to pass the audio file Similarly, if I want, I can also write some comments. So I'm going to say st dot write, and let's say this is audio. Similarly, what I need to do is what I need to do over here is I can go and say elif choice double equal to video. So if let's say the user chooses video, I can define the video file. So I'll say st dot video. And finally I can also write something over here so let's say st dot write and I'm going to write a comment so the comment is this is video now definitely you can add couple of more things you can add any um, let's say uh, you can add a checkbox or you can add other things as well so it's not that you know uh, these are the only two things you can add you can add anything now let's go back let's rerun so now you can see once the audio is pre-selected you have the audio file I'm not going to play it right now but you know it plays and but if you come over here and select the video you can see the video is over here and the text is also here this is video and the audio part also if you go back over here you can see this is audio so you can have many other things that you that will be listed here you can uh, you know plot charts you can write a data frame and so on and so forth so this is the first one that is the sidebar The second one is columns. So column is, columns are basically used to divide uh, a canvas into different vertical parts. So for example, I'll show you right now. Okay. So let's say call one comma call two. So we are going to have two columns. Okay. And let's say st dot columns. And I'm going to here give two the number of columns. Okay. And what I'm going to write over here is what I want the gap to be. I want the gap to be small. This is an optional parameter, but you can also have medium. You can have large depends on what you want. Okay. Now what the column one is going to have? Well, column one is going to have, as you might have already guessed the audio file and what the column two will have. Well, the column two will have video. So obviously you can add more things. For example, you can go over here and say call one dot right and you can give over here let's say uh, this is audio and I'm not going to give anything in call to okay just to show you that all of these things also work so you can see it's 
column over here the first column is this where you have audio and audio and this is these okay this is audio something like that so it is call one dot audio call one dot right so it has basically divided the screen from here everything left of here is left and everything a uh, column one and everything right of this is column two so as you can see in column two we have a video dog video and you can see over here there is already a video over here okay so this is how you use the streamlit column function third one that we are going to discuss right now is tab so tab one almost similar to columns but this was uh this is a bit different because here you have to actually go and select and then you, you know then it changes the tab just as how we use tabs in browsers so for that i'm going to say st.tabs and you're going to have uh let's say audio and video okay so you can do that over here and then finally what you can say is tab one dot audio you can basically instead of st.audio you can have tab1.audio and then pass the audio file similarly you can give the tab2 also so you can say tab2.video and then you can pass the video file so obviously you can add certain other things over here let's say you can say tab1 and dot write and other things so let's say this uh, say hi just let's say hi and what you can do now is go to the screen and then refresh it so as you, you can see over here, the audio is being shown. You can see there is an audio button over here, which is clicked or an audio widget, which is clicked and you have the audio file over here and you can see high as printed. You can also go to the video and you see the video is there. So you basically, these are like tabs. You can switch over from one tab to another. Now I'm going to comment this out. And the next one that I'm going to have is the expander. Okay. So the expander is basically something like a drop down menu but instead of a menu it's mostly information okay so it's drop down information so for an expander what you can do is you can say expander or um, let's just put it this way um, expander or exp equal to st dot expander and what you can do over here is um, let's say c tick okay and what you can over here also add is exp dot right you can add a comment and the comment is video and image okay so now i also need the image so i'm going to say exp dot image and i can pass the image i can also pass the width let's make it small let's have only 400 now you can go over here and rerun so as you can see, you just see the pic. You just see C pic or whatever is the definition. You don't see anything below it. exp.write or exp.image. So if I go and click this, I can see the video and image and you can also see the image. So basically, if you want to add a video over here, you can say st.video and then add a video. I'm not doing that. So basically, an expander is something that will expand and then whatever is defined with the expander it will show okay so hope that is clear um one more thing that i could show over here is let me go back in the columns part and this is only available for the columns okay i just forgot i here give two what if i give something like one comma two okay one comma two so the way it works is it will divide the screen in the ratio one is to two horizontally which means now if i run this i go over here and rerun you see the video is twice as big as the audio okay so it divides the screen into the number of things so how many things are there one and two which means two elements and what is the ratio of that one is to two so let's say if there were three i'm just saying then this will again have two elements itself which means that there will be only two columns however the ratio of the column will be one is to three okay so this is how it works um, this was something that I had to mention. Now, after expander, what we are going to have, we are going to have a container. And this is one of the very interesting things that I found that you can use. So I'm going to say, I'm going to show you with an example of how, or what it does. I'm going to have st.write1 and then I'm going to have two more. So as you can see, I just have three simple statements, okay, st.write1 
1 st dot write 2 and st dot write 3 if i go over here and rerun um you basically see 1 2 and 3 in order so this was expected however now if i just comment this out and if i start using something like let's say a container so i'm going to say cont is equals to st dot container okay i'm going to use the container and what what i'm going to do is i'm going to say cont dot write and i'm going to write the same thing okay i'm going to write one but now i'm going to write st dot write two okay and then cont dot write um i'm going to write three okay so the way it works is whenever you have a cont or that is a container it basically goes and bundles all of those things so now what we will have is we'll have one three and then two so if you go over here you see the order has changed now it has become one three and two earlier it was one two and three that was in order now the order has changed why because now if let's say i have another thing over here um let's say st dot write and i'm going to say this is last okay and then i'm going to have um let's say st dot write something else okay uh let's say last now if i go over here and rerun this is last and last however instead of st now i put quant okay now this this last will go uh above it will go uh below three so see this last went below three which means even if at the end of something of the file you'd say cont dot something it will go and merge with the wherever the cont is defined okay so this was one interesting thing that i had seen one interesting layout so this was it for this video i hope you understood the video and bye